Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So you guys know this season I've been struggling and falling but I finally found a team that really works for me. Uh, Generation I built this team on live stream and this team really worked out for me. I'm super happy with it. I use a fighter lead which is you might think is crazy because almost every single lead I faced was charmers. Um, so that was super crazy but I got lucky with this one right here right off the bat. He must be super weak. Uh, to uh, fighter, maybe he obviously double seal already and Exactrill comes back in. Dude, his third Pokemon must be also weak to freaking. Well, what the kind of hell of a team is he running if he's coming with Exactrill after home? Oh my god. Anyways, so Hero Cross is super good in this meta and it also has that Rock Slide. So, I mean, sorry, Rock Blast. And Rock Blast is super good because of all the double fire teams which you're facing. And then, of course, it has Counter and his freaking uh, close combat hits like a truck. And not only that, guys, but it can also, oh, Garchomp, but it can also learn Megahorn. And guys, Megahorn almost one-shots a Metagross. It's absolutely nuts. But now this game is already over. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, just like that. So guys, if you're new to the channel, I post brand new videos of spicy teams every single weekday. So make sure to hit that like and sub button below and turn on the notification bell so you get actually notified because notoriously YouTube doesn't like to show my content, but with the bell on, you can make sure you get the upgrade. So when you see a dragon, you know it's double steel in the back. So you ASAP want to swap into your charmer and bring out their first charmer counter, which is most of the time, 99% of the time is Metagross. So this is what you want. You do not spend the shield. Oh my God, I just messed up. <laughs> oh yeah, that, this is, that's right. This is, I wanted to point out to you guys, do not do this. So I learned this on the stream, the hard lesson. This match is a loss, I think. The only loss that I did. After this, I learned how to play against the Dragon Double Steel team. You do not shield. Do not shield. And if the Metagross throws a move on you, you thank God and them for throwing because then you're definitely winning this match. So you do not ever shield the Togekiss. You want the Metagross to dump the energy and get rid of the Togekiss instead of farming the Dan. And then you come in with your Hero Cross or Fighter uh, any other fighter would work too. You can use Machamp as well. If you don't have a Hero Cross, guys, you can just sub it out to Machamp. It will be just as good, trust me. Um, it will be just as good. Like, honestly, it will be just as good. Um, so, just so you know, guys, that uh, where I messed this up, now you already know I got absolutely destroyed because of that. So, when you see a dragon on lead, that's gonna be a double steal in the back. You know it. And if you see a Gyarados with Waterfall, it's going to be Gyarados double charm. That, that's what was the meta. After after about like 20 matches with this team, I know that for a fact. And when you see a steel lead on lead, you want that, you're gonna see the dragon come in, you come in with your charmers, and everything aligns in your way with this team. And you also don't shield here, no matter what, you win this matchup right here. And then he's just gonna come back in with exact drill. You don't wanna throw here either. Uh, Outrage, perfect, that's fine. He dumped all his energy. You farm it all the way down, and then the exact drill uh, is not loaded at all whatsoever, so you can get to the flamethrower easy peasy, and you're gonna able to throw that on there, forcing a shield right here. This is what you want, and then after this, he actually has to throw. He's gonna able to farm to double move here, but at least he's, you wanna throw an ancient power because they know, oh, he throws actually, never mind. Don't shield here, you're gonna let it go down, but, the, but so, lo, lots of players actually farm to double move or max out their energy completely. Uh, this is totally fine, you can tank one by the way with Hero Cross or with your Machamp, um, but I shielded this time because I figured he has double still in the back, but he does not. So you don't need to shield there, you can let the first one go, guys. You really don't need to shield, there's no reason for you to shield. So now here with Metagross, uh, we're gonna let it throw, it doesn't matter honestly, because we can, especially if it doesn't shield here, but I think he's gonna shield this. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna shield this, right? He didn't shield. Okay, this is good. So he's gonna farm us all the way down. The Hero Cross can tank whatever it throws at us, but to throw a Rock Blast in hopes, he wouldn't shield, but there's no way he's not gonna shield this because he can hit us pretty good uh, with everything that he has. And how much health do we have? Uh, we have to consider that, that uh, uh, what should we call it? We have to keep it. We have to keep the shield, we, we leave this. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to, uh, oh no, undercharge. Undercharge? Okay, perfect. Whew. If I wouldn't undercharge, we would have lost. Because now we can farm it down. He dumped all his energy. Beautiful. And then now we throw the rock. Rock, one HP and a dream. And we win a win a chicken dinner. And actually, the funny story behind this, guys, I was live streaming with not Rob May while I did this match. And he was screaming in the microphone. Under 
undercharge! Z! Undercharge! And I, and I, 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 you can see it because obviously this is, I over talk myself, not live, but I was like, okay, I will undercharge. And if I wouldn't done that, I would have lost that match big time. So that was super close. Here's the replay, guys. 100%, if I under, not undercharge that, I would have lost it. So for the close match, smash that like button right now. Thank you, appreciate it. Oh man, it really helps out guys. The like button, you pushing it, it really helps me out. It really, really helps me out. Anyways, um, beautiful. So this Saturday guys, I'm going to stream, obviously go battle day. So make sure to come by. I will stream every single match to hit legend. So the goal will be to hit legend during that stream. Um, we might get super close to that by them. This is the time when we're gonna start climbing since the time is getting close. Uh, every single season we hit legend besides, besides uh, I mean from the third season, every single season we hit legends. Uh, last season we, uh, we all directed to legend, so I wouldn't, I won't think we won't hit legend this season. We're gonna push it, we're gonna use this team and other teams to hit that legend and heavy damage my creation of the team. Anyways guys, so back to the match. So again, you know the rules, you know what we are doing here. Um, if you see a charmer, also you swap into your charmer, that's what you do. Uh, and then you let it go down, you come in, farm down. I usually shield just here at Gyarados, and yeah, with Gyarados also, if you see that on lead with Waterfall, you must swap in to your Charmer, because it's gonna be either double Charm, or at least one Charmer, and it will come, or the metal that comes out. So that's why your Togekiss is your safe swap, and you use it, always use it, uh, because you can get rid of it. And there we go, I told you, it's double Charm. The good news is we can actually hit uh, pretty heavy with Rock Blast, uh, and even close combat would have done pretty good damage, but we're gonna have to throw a crowd blast because it wouldn't get there. So it's pretty good chip damage. And then now uh, he cannot hit us with anything to save their lives. We can farm it all the way down and, and whatever he throws, it's not gonna do anything. I mean, what is he gonna throw? Moon blast? What is he gonna throw at us? A psychic? Moon blast. I think that moon blast, well actually that moon blast did a pretty good chunk, honestly. To, I, I expected less, to be fair. <laughs> but anyways, this is okay. We win this for sure. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, win a win a chicken dinner. What do you guys think about this team so far? So this team, really, I really like this team. I feel like this is my playstyle. And yes, guys, I know I'm at 2400, believe it or not. So last Friday I was at 2896, and now I'm at 2400. But okay, I've been using Alakazam and the crazy spicy team, Shadow Pinsir and Alakazam on the same team, and some crazy spicy teams, guys. I even used double Psychic and all that kind of stuff. So we dropped big. But don't worry, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit it. We hit it in our way, the fun way. Okay, so Charmer and A step into your Charmer swap. Beautiful. And then now he comes in with Gyarados. This is like literally, oh, these are like the most common Pokemon is Metagross, Gyarados, and freaking Togekiss, dude. And of course, Exactra. It's, you don't see anything else. It's so boring, man. I can't believe how small this meta is. It's so crazy. So, anyways, um, we're just gonna obviously throw here and get a shield, hopefully. Uh, we didn't get the shield, we won, that's even better, honestly. He comes with his, oh dude, this is so good. Coming with Metagross ASAP, farm it as much as we could. We invest into one shield and farm it all the way down. The timer is not even up yet. Oh, this is so freaking good. Get that shield, boy. Oh my god, this is so good. This is, this is what we want. Okay, he stops out, what is that, Dragonite? Oh dude, this is game over. Not for me, for him, boy. Uh, this is so freaking good, so much, he has two shields, what is he doing? Is he doing it on purpose? I'm a little confused here. What, it, why? The, oh, he just probably gave up. Cause, I mean, there is, I don't think there was a win condition there. I don't, really don't think there was a win condition there whatsoever. Anyways guys, what do you think about the team? I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, finally, I'm climbing again. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for another new video. Alright, thank you again again. I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video and I'm out.